The next topic we're going to be talking about today is primary biliary cirrhosis. This is a chronic progressive disease, uh, cholestatic liver disease, that's actually caused by autoimmune. Primary basically means we don't really know what's causing it because there are other secondary causes of uh, biliary cirrhosis. But the most important thing about the definition we have to realize is this is an autoimmune destruction. of the intrahepatic bile duct. So let me draw that out. If you look at this image right here, which I'm just gonna reproduce over here. This, guys, over here that you're looking at, they all live in the liver. So the intra, inside, hepatic, the liver, so autoimmune, so you're making antibodies. You're binding, constantly causing inflammation of the liver. And also, but not just the liver, they're inflaming the intrahepatic bile ducts. So what happens? We get inflammation, you get eventually remodeling, you get repair, you get strictures, right? Eventually, you get another inflammation again. Eventually, what happens? They form a scar. They become cirrhotic. So they get cirrhosis of the liver. Eventually, but it's autoimmune destruction of the biliary tree that starts with. Okay, where do we normally find this? Middle-aged women. It's always a young woman that will come into the ER. What would be their presentation? They're gonna come in to talk about right upper quadrant pain. The jaundice, why the jaundice? Check this out. All the nice, beautiful bile that's supposed to be going through this intrahepatic ducts, they're blocked, right? Everything is strictured. Everything is already what? It's been damaged. So they all back up into the liver. Both conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin start spilling into what? Into the bloodstream. When bilirubin spills into your bloodstream, what happens? You got a lot of bile salts, right? You start to itch a lot, a lot of itching. You look at their eyeball, it's yellow. Tell them to open their mouth <coughs> and stick out their thumb. <coughs> and right under the front of them, that little thing right under, it looks yellow. That's how you know. Now, another thing is they're tired, they're fatigued. One more thing you're going to notice also is they do build up a lot of cholesterol. Now, let me explain why that happens. Remember we talked about how cholesterol is made in the liver, like it's um, used up in the liver, broken down, and shunted down into the, um, into your gallbladder? Now, they have to go through the biliary pathway, right? If the, the biliary ducts inside your liver is not working, all the cholesterol that you get shut into the liver, they can't go in. So you start to back them out into your bloodstream. Now you look into their eyeballs, you see what? You see xantho you know, xanthomas, right? This cholesterol deposits right under their eyes. You look at the back of their shin, right by the calcaneus, you see xanthelasmus, right? Cholesterol deposit, right? Achilles xanthomas, you see xanthelasmus around their eyes, and you're like, wow. Why do you have a lot of cholesterol? So these are one of the clinical features you're gonna see. So we're gonna have to order labs to find out exactly what's going on. So lab-wise, you're gonna see a cholestatic LFTs. What does that mean? Cholestatic LFTs, because this is intrahepatic, it will mean the AST, more importantly, the alkaline alanine transferase, sorry, is going to be highly elevated. Because why? Because the autoimmune, it's intrahepatic, it's on the liver. If you think it's by this antibodies are making antibodies against this uh, intrahepatic ducts, it's going to be affecting what? Because everything is back is going to damage some of those beautiful looking uh, hepatocytes. So you, they got to start, the injury to the liver will cause you to have high ALT. Now, on the other hand, 
How come the phosphatase will be elevated, right? Because all those strictures, those inflammations of, the, of those intrahepatic ducts. It's all come from the biliary tree, right? Elevated total bilirubin will be high, right? Both conjugated kind of going to give you a mixed picture, but conjugated and unconjugated because it depends on how long uh, they've had it. Usually the young middle-aged woman, right? But the key thing you got to know for your boards, right? You got to know this. You're going to shine on every rotation to go on to. What antibody are we going to order to actually know this guy, lady's got a primary bilirubin cirrhosis? It's called anti-mitochondrial antibody. AMA. These are IgM immunoglobulins. Binding, constantly binding to the intrahepatic ducts. You got to know that. It's extremely important. This is the key. Okay? If that comes back positive, it's specific. 90 to 95% specific. So you really have to know that. If a patient is coming right up a quadrant pain, jaundice, itching, fatigue, they've got all this cholesterol, we check their cholesterol level, it's high. High cholesterol. Right? Remember the xanthalasma, the, the car, the, um, the xanthomas they start to develop they're also prone to what osteoporosis that's another thing you want to know but how do we really really grill this down and know the definite diagnosis you have to take a biopsy you take a needle you stab them well don't stab them you penetrate that take a bit bite off their liver and you'll be able to see it you'll be able to see on that pathology you send it to pathology like man all the dots are constricted we can't really see that much they've been damaged that gives you the definite diagnosis. Unfortunately, we can't really use ultrasound or CT to rule out this problem. How do we treat it? It's symptomatic. They're itching a lot. They're itching and itching and itching. We've got a drug for that. Cholestyramine. So, I always like this interesting concepts, which is pretty straightforward, right? Cholestyramine. Styramine. I don't think he has an S. Go styramine. Styramine. This is a bile acid requesting because this is the stuff, it's the bile acid under the skin that's causing irritation and itching. So when it takes cold styramine, it binds to those bile acids, you poop it out. We give another treatment, Urso deoxycholic acid. That's another medication we give for these patients. And it's kind of like an hydrophilic bile acid. It kind of slows the progression of the disease. At the end of the day, the prognosis for this patient is really bad. We're gonna to have to do a liver transplant. That's the most we can do. So we have to put this patient on the liver transplant list so we can get a new liver. And that's the only way we're gonna to have to keep the disease out of the way. Okay, so don't forget primary biliary cirrhosis. Okay, we talked about it, it's cirrhosis, why? because it's coming from inf autoimmune inflammation of the intrahepatic ducts. So don't forget that. It's an autoimmune in nature. It gets strictures with oil labs. It gives you a mixed picture, cholestatic LFTs. You give them cholestyramine, chol uh, arsidioxycholic acid, and you give them a new liver, and that's how we treat it. Okay, I hope that was very informative. Keep that in mind. AMA, anti-mitochondrial antibodies. Very important antibodies you have to order for this patient so you can save their life. All right, have a good one. Bye bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE Step 1 or Step 2? Are you studying for the NCLEX or you're currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PA student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student 
or trying to take your MP board exam, listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process, I want you to check out my website below. I've listed all the list of exam whether you're studying for any of this board exam and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and it'll take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website, you're able to reach me directly, and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you are super awesome, and my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level. With your medical knowledge, let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome. And do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.